Yeah. Come on. What's going on, Sam? Oh, Pete's typing. So I've um, the Sam needed John Radio John to do a voice note for us, just literally saying, "Are you all right there, lads?" That's all we needed. But Adams had <laughs> Adams had the clever idea of to ask him to keep doing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, perfect, mate. Um, I've got two more. Can you do one? Um, I've got ants in my pants, please. <laughs> oh, he's recording. So my head got stuck in the cat flap. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Did you do it? in my pants. <laughs> oh, what a this is all incredibly random. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so we're just editing one of the Keeping Up With The Baldies and you're in it, that was all. Um, and I think the last one they need is, my head's got stuck in a cat flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's recording. Me head's got stuck in a cat flap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, last one, last one, mate. Sorry, the boys are on my case. Um, my magnum's melting. Help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> my magnum's melting. Help me, please. <laughs> Cheers, John. That made us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, John, um, we didn't actually need any of that. We only needed the first one, but thanks, mate. <laughs> Professional actor right here. Sign me up, I'll get some head shots. <laughs> and there we go, producer John, that here again. <laughs> you this morning, when did you injure yourself but not know how? We got one here from Matt the Plumber. He said, morning, lads. I slipped with a shifter and caught my knuckle. It turns out I've broken my neck. No. She knew nothing about it. It wasn't until the Sunday morning when I was dozing in bed and my four-year-old come in with one of his wooden toy hammers. <laughs> right, John's going to get you up to date on the travel now. This is Fixed Radio. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. I'm currently um, waiting for Calvin so I can throw a ball at him. Here he comes. Hello. Hello, Calvin. Hello, Ethan. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. You all right? I'm all right, thank you. Uh, and you got a little hammer, Paul. Yeah, I'm going to pull that round. Pull that round there. And do I work that way? Yeah, I work that way. Yeah. So I work like that. And I took the right one off then. The right one, it was the right one as well, not the left one. I took the right one off, meaning that I took the correct one off, but also I took the right one off because it was the right side of my body. Suda cream, which I like to call arse cream, but I use it for my lips. <laughs> so, so we use keys, and then we've got phone in there, and then we've got a little bit of a takings and go in there, and then they can go on my head, and then we use it for what it's made for, and we put a tool in it. So now I look really professional. Now he looks like he's doing fun things. <laughs> Tickets, please. Wagwan. Well, <laughs> was that? You must have. Wagwan, well, brother! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I love yeah, it. Right? I love it. <laughs> How do you get that? You know that, innit? Yeah. I look like one of your brothers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You know what? I don't even know. Have you ever had red or anything? No. Never no. Wrong. I went to, but. A friend of mine in school used to have them. They were so yes. wicked. Yo, yeah. she makes you mad right now, you know, like, <laughs> yo, break to me, I do. Yo, man, we tell you, you know? <laughs> you should cook with that on. <laughs> nah, hey! no, no, you no, should no, cook with it, bro, come on. Oh, they slayed me, man. They killed me, they killed me, they killed me. Oh, you had a trim, my son. Right? Robando corazón y todo el dinero. Me gustan los bandoleros. That's what he said on the phone. The national what? The national statistic. I can't say the word. Bro, I'm too excited. <laughs>
<laughs> Bruv, you know we try to do Mentos and Cokes and we stuff. We tried loads of experiments. We've done the pumpkin last of all. Yeah. That didn't work. Yeah, it didn't. No. I've just had a phone call from the geezer that yeah. runs the science museum. Right. And he's he's let us down. He says, come in, come. Wait, you want, you, you can. He said, come down and you can do an experiment with me. What, now, today? Yes, bruv. Why do you think I've got the NASA badge on? I did wonder why you had the NASA badge on. We are going honest. to build a space rocket. You look like... Yo, dude, in. come to blow some stuff up, man. Yes, that's what you look like. An American. American. You look like an we American. We better get busy. Get in the van. We're going to America then, or? I am, and I'm not. Go on. Bruv, he sent me home with this. Space mission yet? Eight plus. What? I'm confused already. <laughs> He's telling me to blow up a balloon, tape a straw. You've got loads of stuff on the floor, mate. You've got to blow, blow it up the balloon. Right, hold up a minute. Before you start, <laughs> deflate the balloon, please. <laughs> Previously, you said to me that will take you 10 minutes yeah, it will. to make this. Trust me, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I haven't got tape. No, okay. you said 10 minutes. It says there's a clip. There's not a clip. <laughs> Where you going now? I need to get tight. Oh, that's Why do you want vinegar, Sam? You can't have got any. I've got some in the car. Have you? Yes. No, you haven't. Do you think I've brought vinegar with me? Oh, I thought you went shopping. <laughs> you were so excited. Look at his little face. I'm trying to get the. <laughs> Come on, Reeve. Let's go meet little Sam. I can't Come believe upstairs. you not, not met uh, little Sam yet. Give him, give him a fright or something. Yeah, he's probably got his headphones on. Yeah. What? No, what no, should we do? She's the boss. She will say what? Attention! Attention! No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hello, darling. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You all right? Yeah, you. How are you? She's the boss. She runs the place. Have you got any vinegar? Have you got any vinegar? Dad, have you got any vinegar? Yeah. Are you, you enjoying it, Sam? You all right? Yeah, it's so good. So what's in your hand now? You've been outside to get that? No, this is rocket fuel, bro. Are <laughs> <laughs> you joking? <laughs> I'm holding a, a substance that can kill you, bro. <laughs> but I need vinegar to make it happen. This is no different to all the other experiments we've ever done. It's fit out, I think. It's fit out, Yeah. Like, going to jump I'm going to ask him for some... Seven minutes of pure brilliance. Sick, bro. Seven minutes. Because if I get vinegar from them, and then yeah. I'll prove you all wrong. Yeah. I'm a bit of a random request. Are you going to be doing it? No worries. No vinegar. Looks like we're going to the colour. At least I can get a meal dip. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, he's got the vinegar. Mm -hmm. No, go on, do it. Take the gamble. Anything we do never works anyway, so. Get the lid on because I was scared. Yourself like that? So I was scared I thought it was going to blow up. What are you? Yes, you're in. Ah, oh, you fluffed it. <laughs> 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 <sighs> that was well worth a lot of Give it that nice, crispy, golden layer all over it. Swap. Oh my god, you're full. <laughs> we are off to the fishing shop because we need maggots. I tried two places over the weekend, I couldn't get none. Um, so we're going to get maggots and we're going to play a prank on Calvin where we get a bag of crisps, we're going to cut the edge down, we're going to fill it with maggots, the crisps, keep the crisps in there and then glue the crisp packet back up and give it to Calv. Fry fish, how do you tackle it? Half a pint of mixed maggots, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where are we fishing? But we're not. We're, we're going to um, put them in a crisp packet and then do the crisp packet up. And then oh, he's yeah. going to open it and the maggots are going to be everywhere. <laughs> and then we'll probably give them to Matty to go fishing with. Yeah, they open here. What, are you going to put maggots in with yeah. the crisp? Yeah, that's, that's going to be shop. with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Blue. Right, so we're going back old school. Oh, they made me cringe. We're going back. Do you know where the idea come from? 
We done a video three years ago yeah. where I sliced the back of it and I sprayed a McCoy's crisp gold, stuck it in it, opened it up and pretend that we won a golden crisp because I was doing a golden crisp at the time and it went millions of views, yeah. bruv. And it just reminded me, so I thought we can prank Calvin. Yes. So what we're going to do, we've got a pack of crisps, we're going to tell him to try this new flavour of crisp. I don't think Calvin's ever seen no, that, no, no, no. for a kitchen video. Yeah. He will then just open them up, yum, 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 yum. Inside is going to be a bag full of maggots. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. He will not know. Right. But how much is that? Half pint? Yeah. He's got quarter pint of magnets in that bag. <laughs> well, come on. This, which is the number one crisp? The baked crinkly's cheese and onion flavour or the kettle chilli and sour cream? Have you ever had them? We had a bet that you have never tried this one. I haven't tried that, no. Told tried you. Sort of vinegar one. Told well, you. Told you. Yeah, we got them. We're opening them. Let's try them. Have we got scissors here? What for? Oh, wait, no, you just open like this. You know, but we could have done that little hat. There. What have you done to them? <laughs> Look, open them up. <laughs> what is the better one? Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Why? Oh, they're hot. I'll pretend I haven't seen something. I do like a crinkle, mate. Try them ones, Chris. Where have we gone then? Okay. You're disgusting. Well, you are absolutely <laughs> vile. Oh! <laughs> what is that? You are vile. If I would have been a mutt. Oh my god, look at that. What is in there? Open the bag, Chris. Oh, Maggie. Oh, you lot are nutters. <laughs> Oh, and they're different colours as well. <laughs> God, I've got to try one. Yeah. No! Oh, yes, Chris! Oh, not bad. <laughs> He's eating one. Go on, girl. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, geezer it up. <laughs> oh, just snap it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can smell the cheese on the thing. Look at the face. Look at the Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Yes, cow! No, they're everywhere, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> you're mental! <laughs> I'll stick to the green leaf one! I'm gonna go in like, I'm gonna know what I there. prefer. That's, that's how I want it. I'm gonna wait for the order here, and then we're just gonna fry it nice and slow. And then I'm gonna slice them up, bop, 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 in there, Jaeger, and then Red Bull. Is that what you want? Yes. We got Chris there cooking, yeah, and Bradley doing a video as well. Look at that, Eve. Come on. Oh, I need it as well. Good, 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 good. Gush! Gug, 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 sound effect and everything. Oh. Oh, Ethan. Ethan! What? <laughs> <laughs> Chris's eyes are like, what? <laughs> Man, come to work, I get to see things like this. What, what, what? <laughs> Hey, look how good his food looks. Look at the man's made. What? I've made Yago sausage. My man's making gourmet food. It's like the children have been left over here while the professional could get left there. I'm a plasterer. What do you want in life? And guys, this is done on a camping stove. It's very dark up here because it's getting late. I'm ringing all of the um, current entries for the buildersprize.com and make sure they got their ticket number and someone actually won an instant win. <gasps> so Adam's wrapping it up and we're getting it sent out. Cheers, Cheers Craig, bye mate. Oh, that was nice. Such a warming feeling when you ring these people. Guys I just spoke to, just missed, messaged me, he won the instant win. He said, cheers for the call, Sam. I won't tell the missus I've won something, or she'll find more jobs for me to do around the house. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? A double tea bag. I just pulled it out. That's double shrimp for you. <laughs> How good is that? Look. Are they running any competitions or anything? Offers, Cal. Oh, I didn't know if you had one already, bro. Oh, oh, that excuse. 
That cop you, out. Yeah, no, but I've just got here, so I haven't had one today. Right. So I, you could have, on that basis, you could have had one waiting for me. Right. So but I didn't know you were arriving when you arrived. Well, did you message me? Did, no, did you message me? No. Right. I messaged you yesterday. But the, I sent you the, a league table. It all boils down to it. Boils down. Boils down. Oh, down. Good, good pun, mate. Good you pun. just made a coffee. Would you like a coffee? Didn't offer. I'd like a tea, please. <laughs> Here we go. It's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. It's Tuesday. I've got to go to the shop. I need to go to Aldi to get some bits for tomorrow because we've got a master chef coming in tomorrow, Calvin. Did you know? Of course he knows. Was he runs the pun. kitchen. That was a very good pun, wasn't it? You said a master chef coming in because he is a master chef and. He oh, yeah, he master actually master is a master chef. He won master. Uh, I'm not sure if he won it. He was on MasterChef, um, and he's in tomorrow, so I'm going to go and get him some ingredients uh, from Aldi because he's uh, flat out busy. Um, and Calvin, what are you doing today? What am I doing? I'm going out of the <laughs> I'm reversing. You have to let them know that you're reversing. How do you make an omelette? Egg, milk, cheese, ham. I haven't even got eggs yet. Eggs are just up there. Right, we need That's eggs. Fine. Calvin's got to eat this. Basically, no one knows today. I don't These people so, don't no. know. Not yet. Should I keep it a secret till tomorrow? Basically, we don't actually have Master Chef Chef coming down. We have amazing feet of Richie, who basically does everything with his feet, and Calvin doesn't know yet. <laughs> so he's going to come and cook with his feet. It's going to be incredible. The man is an absolute genius. He is a legend. You've got a foot on the thing. I don't think she knows. <laughs> You're blaming him now. He's going to have a go and they're going to have a fight. They're going to have a big scrap. What is he doing though? He's just got out. Oh my way. god, you just punched him. No, oh, he just knocked him clean out. Oh my. What about that? You've done that. That was your fault. It was your fault. Sam G. Bonjour. That's an end to a long day. It is a very long day, it has been, uh, cleaning the mess up. And then I've got to take Sammy home. Oh. I look at him like a little brother now. I was thinking about it earlier. I found him on LinkedIn, uh, no, on Indeed. He applied for a job and I was just thinking how professional it seems to employ someone off of the website. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like you, obviously we knew you from filming. Yeah. But Sam was like properly, like found, and I spoke to quite a few people. That's all. And Sammy was only the one of two that I actually rang. And he's from Bogner. He's young. He's up for it. He's good at what he does, and he's got a good work ethic. He don't. He drives, but he don't. He ain't got a car yet. He always says thank you. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Wednesday tomorrow. Mhm. Mm Calvin's going to be very surprised when oh, Richie turns yeah. up. So yeah, tomorrow is another day. I'm gonna finish clearing up, and then I'm gonna take my brother home. Oh mate. Oh mate. Hello oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. You alright? Yeah. You good? Yeah. You? Yeah. What are you here for? I'm here for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? That's shit. Are you actually coming to cook? Yeah. No, you are. <laughs> Are you hiding your hands in there? What? You're calling me fat? <laughs> what did he just say? Did you just say, you, is he I'm hiding his hands? This is Richie. Yeah. yeah. Everything he's done with his feet. No! Oh, man. Sick. Sick. Amazing Sick. Richie. Sick. Sick. Well, That'd be decent. Man, yeah. Massive on TikTok, though. Oh yeah. 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 Oh sick. He's massive on TikTok. I promise you now the shit you can do with his Sorry team. for that reaction. It's because they were saying someone's no, coming no, from me. No, no, no. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. No, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't you see me on MasterChef? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still does, he, does he actually do cooking or not? <laughs> Are you actually going to cook on there? Yeah. yeah. Well, not, not on there. No, you've got to set him up on the it's table here. Yeah, sweet. 
I'll set up over there or something. Yeah. Like, wherever I'm level. Yeah, yeah, decent. Yeah. He embraces the disability. And I'll tell you what, there ain't that nothing one. that fella can't do. Inspirational, yeah. Ethan. Yeah. You can learn from him, mate. I bet he can right? multitask yeah. better than I'm you. Just... Rich, how did you get up on the roof? On the roof? Or with, you with a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself up there. He's done you there, mate. Straight up, I can't. No. So I've got nothing to lean, Well, you lean on it and then walk up there, okay. As long as it's leaning a little bit. Yeah. Was well, you born with no arms, Rich? Yeah. I'll bet that's on. But that's not no, no, different. Nah. No. It's exactly. Yeah. I've always no. said that. If you don't know any different, then it's different. Then it's... You, you're not missing it, either. Yeah. You're not missing it. So many times I've, I've like met people that have become disabled and they really struggle because yeah. obviously. But that's because it's in your head though, isn't it? Yeah. It's when you're used to having your arms, for example, and so then you have an accident. Money, so having loads of money and then being skinny. And then being skinny. It's you like struggle you with it. But if you're skinny, if you've grown up from council yeah, state, exactly. and you ain't got a name, you don't miss name, do you? Could have done the washing up, boys. What are you doing? You got a hot one. Yeah. <laughs> got a mug up my ass. Never moan ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <from> safety. <laughs> yeah, nice safety and clean, now. yeah. I go! I go! Look, does that smell like a hand or a foot? <laughs> my, feet, my feet never smell because they're always doing stuff. So I, mean, awesome. I wash them the same as you wash your hands. Like, I'm not washing it hot water, though. It's fing too hot. I'm the fan of a man for the day! Oh. <laughs> Where's the towel then? Is it? I knew you only had that poxy little cooker, so I've got me, got, bought me grill with me. Though. Oh, we've got a barbecue here, though. Oh, yes. Oh, that's me quilt. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to go around. Right. Well, you want these, <laughs> don't you? We did the, we did the washing up. I need a chop, I need, I need chopping board, boys. I need a chopping board. Boys, can you help? Get a chopping board. Right, so I, I, cr I would normally crack them like this. Um, but, but I have seen people do it like this. <laughs> and then they... Pick out the shell off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I like that. Just get the shell out with your toe, yeah. I was hoping you do it. That's for safety, you know. Right. Yeah. Yes. That is incredible. That was sick. Made. Well, I really should have done the ham first, but sod it. I struggle to hurt my hands. Mate! Oh, I struggle. Do you think I need more egg, gal? Uh, well, you have to do two. two for me, innit? Yeah, something to do. You wanted three, that's good. It's extra protein. <laughs> yes! And <laughs> buckles! <laughs> <laughs> what buckles do you then, the way you come to have? Yeah, the, the sprinkle is like. Right, do you want cheese in it or on it? Oh, I'm easy, easy more. In it, in it. Yeah, yeah, melt it. Yeah, yeah. They're both, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like get it even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> we got, oh, no, don't, 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 I wouldn't <laughs> know if Andy can, mate. You'd be getting a suplex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get changed. I'm wearing a little whistle today. Three piece whistle. Mm. I'm designing something for Andy Cam. What are you designed? That is what I'm going to print off and give to him for a fixed radio for the party. What is it? Today. <laughs> an OAP travel card. <laughs> 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 He's done him an OAP Oyster card. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to the party today looking like that. Bonjour, Ethan. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, mate. Yes, I'm just looking for a sales document. Ah, the old I still haven't worked out what a deck means. The old document. Why do we say that now? Now you've got me thinking about it. Because it's a document, yeah? So you create a document, but we always say you've done that deck. Sales deck. Yeah, sales deck. But then what's the deck? Short for. How many yes, you we got? Was up, we was up at um, King's Hot this my little boy Oscar. Look. How you doing, mate? <laughs> we was up there now, all going to say hello. Come, come down and see us. Mates, and then I was like, yeah, I'll just see you. I was like, fuck it out. Yeah, hello. come down. <laughs> Get him on. What, tell him your name. What's he? There's a sticker. Yeah, oh, look. Does he want a little sticker oh, there? Yeah, you got oh, something uh, there? Yeah, I don't stick up. <laughs> Connect with Sam, bring bring him down, come down with some food and that, come and say hello with us, yeah? yeah we'll do we don't it. do the burgers no more, we no. changed it because of the chef, yeah. but we do all the paninis, we do stuff like that. You fancy some food? Yeah. See, what's your daughter's doing it My now, daughter's see? running yeah. it now, yeah. yeah. Bring him down as well, <laughs> come down, let us know, organise it with Sam, yeah. arrange it for a Saturday, yeah. if you can, yeah. and then come down, it'll be on us, mate, and we'll treat you. Oh, nice Is that all right, yeah? yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's too tight to get out. <laughs> Oh my god, my nice message one. is going to be over the moon. Sit down, bro. <laughs> Tell her, mate. <laughs>We're in London, right? So we've come, we're in, we're in central London, Kensington. Kensington. This is like right in London. And we're having a couple of hours with the fixed radio crew crew in the Builder's Arms. It's called the Builder's Arms. And we're doing that to celebrate the fact that we smashed, we sma as a, as a as a radio station, everyone collectively smashed the national figures that we needed to get to. So they've come down, we're having the thing, we drove all the way down from West Sussex, whatever else, we'll drive all the way up. But the prices in there are through the roof. Like, to the extent I'll just give three pound or two pound 80 for a roll of wrapping paper. Two pints are probably get you 13 quid. We've got 12 bottles. So we're gonna go in there, add that under our arm, like we're giving a present to someone. But obviously we're not. When we get in there and we've got the private room upstairs, open them under the table, we drink for free all afternoon. There you go. There you go, mate. We've just got to wrap it up. Oh, and why? I can't remember the rest of the song. Children, Children sing and it's given rhymes With logs on the fire and gifts on the tree. All right, that's it. Um, Here we go. We're, we're happy. happy. What they hear it? They won't. They they won't. They, it could be glasses. Yeah. That could be glasses. Yeah. That could be glasses. I'm gonna walk into the boozer now with that. You wouldn't know there's a box of Stella in there. And then we've got to put it on the table. We're not stupid enough to actually drink one because we'll get in trouble. So Jack will, and then he'll get in trouble. Yeah, and we're driving, so we're not drinking anyway. <laughs> I might have like one, I might have one, but I won't drink that. Or get one off one of them lot that buy me a drink. Yeah. And I ran it and I say, don't worry, rounds on me. We'll return the favour. Rounds on me, don't worry people. <laughs> That's wicked. I'm really happy with that, Sam. So our present for Jack. Mm. Oh, sorry, no, you go. You've got two glasses. Oh, it's a battle of the gentlemen. Her ladies that works for Fix. She was carrying a drink thing. So I was like, excuse me, love, have you got you know where the toilet is? She was like, oh, hello, Sam. I was like, oh, you don't work here. <laughs> What are you done now? It's me to sign. It's coming, coming. It's heavy. Yeah, but it will help you throughout the night. It's to help you here tonight. You can share with producer John as well. Sit down there, mate. Sit down. Hang on. Go that way so you can block it. It's sort of like a present, also life hack. And it's for you two to enjoy in here. Tonight, and you can save your fortune. Yeah, why not? Hey, how have you done this? Don't make it Keep it on the down low. And Tom's watching, block him out. It's nicely wrapped. I'm proud of Brad. Good job. You know what the prices are like? Just because I'm normally tight. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's expensive in these places.
Casey. So we brought beer with us. <laughs> that's it, Jack, that's it. Jack, I did. Jack, right? stick it under the table. I'll have from the train on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be so smashed on the way. I'm driving, so I can't do anything. I'll be like nine, I'll be like nine through the point. Jack, I did. <laughs> I say, Todd, you look like Ryland. What did you say, John? What is it? Oh, I didn't say it personally, but... No, but, you but, said, but, you just said, told me to say it to no, him. Yeah, well, that's the call I heard the other day. So someone said Poundland Ryland. Oh, Poundland Ryland. So John calls him... It wasn't me. So John calls Todd Poundland... I, I do not call Poundland Ryland. Poundland Ryland. It's not me. That is a man in denial. I thought more Poundland Daddy Dyer, personally. Ooh, Poundland Daddy Dyer. That's a good shout. Got extenders as well. Weirdly, you look taller there, eh? Yeah, it's because I was lifted up. I was on lift, so I was Fair on lift. Fair enough. Not, but that's the thing, you're look not even fat. Look jeez. Massive. What's it they call it? The bunda. Hit it! Don't hit it! Don't hit it, my friend, please! <laughs> you know what? I'm there. You're right. You had to have a look then, didn't you? You wanted to change. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Cheers, mate. I left my gym clothes in my gym bag this week. So, I've got to take them in. They've been in there for four days. <laughs> Enter a long week, mate. It's been a good week, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Been very yeah. busy. Eventful. Been very eventful, very busy. Um, met loads of lovely people. I uh, saw a few pigeons. Uh, I saw a seagull as well, actually. Um, I was hoping to see a penguin this week around Littlehampton, but I never did. Right. Um, wrong, wrong sort of area. I wrong think. sort of area, yeah. But you never know. You might see a rhino next week. Hopefully. No, that would just be the mother-in-law. Have a good one.